Hey, what is up guys? So, this is something a little bit different. I'm trying to start a new segment that's kind of unscripted, kind of like Khan Reacts, but more just covering general things that I find interesting, news, projects, things like that. And we're starting with, well, true to form because of how hyped me and Proto have been recently. There is new information regarding Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizen, the official English version site has opened. I have been super excited for this movie. Digimon Try was a big letdown for me. I did not enjoy Digimon Adventure Try at all, especially how dirty they did the Zero Two kids. But Last Evolution Kazuna is looking kind of promising. So if we head on over to the website link, digimon-adventure.net forward slash eng, we get met with the Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizuna English logo, which is absolutely beautiful. And bear in mind that this is due out on the 21st of February next year at least in Japan, US, UK, we'll see exactly when that schedule happens. We saw how that went down, we try. But this website is absolutely beautiful. We have this key art, which we've seen already, of Tai and Agumon holding hands in this weird kind of digital plane. And it says, for all Digidestins who have walked with Digimon. Now, I believe there was a similar tagline for Try, which is like, for all Digidestined who have grown up with Digimon or something like that. But we go over to the introduction and this is where my heart breaks. The introduction says, Do you remember that special summer when they met? The digital world and the human world have faced crisis after crisis. During the everyday life between dealing with these crises, clues to the ways humans and Digimon could coexist had begun to appear. Taichi and friends are now college students and they gather together as once again strange events occur all around the world. And now, the end of their long adventure that began in the summer of 1999 has drawn near. This is the last adventure of Taichi Yagami, Agumon and friends. Not long before the Digidestined become adults. Wow. Okay, so that's a lot. Uh <laughs> The actual end, what this has given me huge vibes of is the end of Tamers, the, the season of Digimon Tamers, not so much the new audio dramas and stuff, where uh, they have to permanently say goodbye to their Digimon partners. I'm starting to get the suspicion that the thing with Last Evolution Kazuna, if you've seen the trailer with the kind of ticking down metaphor, is that to truly bring peace to both the digital world and the human world, there can be no connection. They have to be severed and exist by themselves. Which just hurts. But we move over and we have cast and staff. I'm not going to go through all of these because a lot of these names I don't know. I do find it interesting though that Mao is the voice of Kari. I'm not sure if she voiced Kari in Try in Japan. Uh, but that is actually, if you're a Tokusatsu fan, that is the actress who played Gokai Yellow in Kaizok Sentai Gokaija, and who was the voice actress for Washi Pink in Uchi Sentai Q Danger. There's also a few other recognizable names scattered around. But most interestingly to me, we have the character section. And this has a breakdown of every returning cast member, including the Zero Two kids, to Last Evolution Kizuna. Now we have seen all of these arts before. I believe back in the summer, we got a look at all of the Zero Two cast uh, and the further art for the adventure cast. But what we didn't have back then is these character profiles. There's also a nice thing if you click on the design section, which just has like a side by side of everyone from the original adventure cast, and you get an idea of kind of how they look. And I'm loving these designs. It's a little bit less uh, odd than Try. It reminds me more of the adventure style, but how the grown ups looked in adventure. You can see Ty and Matt. Izzy is looking pretty much like Izzy. Mimi looks like a toned down Mimi. TK's hat, Kari's hat. Joe looks the oldest and most responsible doctor. Uh, but this is where things get really interesting when we get to character design. So we begin with Taichi Yagami. I want to say Taikamiya because that's his English name. A college senior studying science and economics. He currently lives alone, having decided to support himself once he started college. He applies himself cheerfully and earnestly to both his studies and his part-time job. But the truth is, he is undecided about what to do with his future. To this day, if somebody involved with Digimon is in trouble, Taichi will take action to help them. Something very interesting here. He is studying political science and economics. Politics and economics. That'd be pretty useful for a diplomat, wouldn't it? Hmm. 
Uh, Taiji's partner Digimon, he's a reptile, this is Agumon, he usually has a carefree personality, but when the time comes, he'll stand up to enemies regardless of the danger, his special attack is Baby Flame, in which he spits a fireball from his mouth. The Digimon profiles don't really give you much more information than you already know about Digimon, it just kind of tells you the Digimon, so I might breeze through the Digimon. But anyway, next up we have Matt, aka Yamato Ishida, a college senior studying science and engineering. Skills that an astronaut might need, perhaps. He stopped playing in his band and while he enjoys music as a hobby, now he's into motorcycles. <laughs> he's a common rider. Yamato has decided to go on to graduate school in order to study more and have more time to truly find himself. And then you've got his partner Gabimon, who wears a Gurumon pelt. He's actually a reptile like Agumon, and his special attack is Petite Fire. They are not letting that bit of law die that Gabumon's actually a weird lizard. Next to Sora Takanochi, a senior at a women's college. Rather than get a job, she's decided to follow the same path as her mother, who's the head of a traditional flower arrangement school. Sociable as ever, Sora has a wide circle of friends and will even teach foreigners, but she feels it's important to have a regular daily routine, and she doesn't see the others very often. Sora keeps being a kind of lone wolf, which is interesting because you figured that would be matchstick. And it's also interesting that she has followed in her mum's footsteps with the whole flower arrangement thing, which is something she went back and forward on, both in, or in Adventure Zero Two and Try. And then we've got Piamon slash Biamon, Sora's part in Digimon, it's a bird, and a special attack is Magical Fire, in which she attacks using Phantom Flames. Interesting they translate the names, but they don't translate the Digimon moves. Next up, we have Koshiro Izumi, or Izzy Izumi, or Chip. Uh, <laughs> while he's a college student, Koshiro runs his own business. I believe that is something he was doing in Try, so is Try still canon? With the money he makes, he takes it upon himself to be a sort of hub between the digital world and the human world, helping people with Digimon-related problems. He's a driving force behind community activities for the Digidestined, who spread all around the world. So that obviously is referring to these Digidestined, but it could also refer to the ones from Try, the ones from Zero Two. There's a lot of Digidestin now. And interesting that, again, it's he and Tai that are kind of the ones that are really keeping the Digimon-human relationships going and assisting the most when Digimon problems occur. And Tentamon is Tentamon. <laughs> I think we're just going to skip over the Digimon going forward. Then we have Mimi Tachikawa. She sells goods online that she personally finds cute. Mimi is a working girl? Phrasing. Uh, who jets all around the globe not just Japan. Spending busy days designing original products makes her hard to catch in person, but fe she faithfully remains in contact. Now that is better than Mimi used to be. In the Digimon movie, uh, Our War Game, she would barely send a postcard. In Try, she eventually turns up with her cell phone. Now she faithfully remains in contact, but you can't really see her in person. I guess that's the wonder of the modern age. And she's got Palmon, who has Poison Ivy. Next, we have Joe in full Dr. Garb, a fifth-year medical college student. Joe's hands-on medical experience is limited, but his uncommon zeal for becoming a doctor finds him studying hard extra every day. And he hardly ever sees any of the others. Again, they keep separating Joe from the others. It's so sad. He was so separate and dry. Uh, but again, this is the epilogue of Zero Two. He was a Digimon and human doctor. We saw him put in a tongue suppressor on an Ogamon. Fascinating. Next up, our boy TKN. Who oh boy is he? He is sure has that freshman look. The freshman douchebag look. I'm sorry, TK. A freshman studying literature while his future is unclear. Literature. Didn't TK write a book at the epilogue of Zero Two? Hmm. While his future is unclear, Takeru also has begun taking English and French classes, and he's joined a children's literature club. He also takes part in activities for the sake of Digimon. So again, willing to help when Digimon stuff happens, good or bad. Next up is Hikari or Kari Kamiya slash Yagami blah 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 blah. A freshman majoring in early childhood education at a woman's junior college. Taichi's decision to live on his own has led to a distance forming between the siblings, but Ikari sees him sometimes at Digimon-related activities. So she helps out again, but it's so sad that him and Kari are not close and... Oh no, I don't like the separation thing. I hope they could maybe finally make them all come together properly again. That would be real nice. And there's Tailmon slash Gatomon. Again, the early childhood education thing... Kari always wanted to be a teacher, and her voice actress voiced a teacher in Tamers, which is kind of weird in the English dub. Then we have Daisuke Motomiya, or Davis Motomiya, a freshman who attends a technical school. Daisuke studies every day so he can obtain his chef license. He's chosen to train at a ramen restaurant, and he uses digital gates to jump all over the world, eating noodles as research. Noodle Cart Davis confirmed. Time Magazine, Noodle Cart, Zero Two Epilogue Davis. <laughs> 
confirm the ending of Zero Two is canon. I've never been more happy, or at least they're setting everyone's path towards the epilogue of Zero Two, but Last Evolution Kazuna might throw that off a little bit. Next up, we have Ken Ichijoji, a college freshman studying psychology. He has a much stronger sense of justice than most, and he takes an active part even in ordinary Digimon activities. Ken often goes along with Daisuke on his ramen trips, so Ken and Davis are using digital portals to travel around the world eating ramen. Can everyone access this? Is it just Digidestined that are doing this, or are they starting to open up a whole new travel route? Could that be a thing that people are getting accustomed to? And if the digital world gets closed off, they'll no longer be able to do these really easy trips to different parts of the world. And of course, he's got his worm on. I like Ken's look here, it's very uh, basic, down to earth. He really looks like he's moved away from the sadness and the anger that he had as a, as a young kid, and he's now sort of growing with that crest of kindness into a kind young man. Here we have Yoli, or Miyako Inoue, who looks super fucking cool. I love her kind of design. I like how she's obviously taken some inspiration from Hawkmon, and they've kind of become closer together. She is a sophomore learning computer programming at an engineering college. Miyako is currently studying abroad in Spain. She manages the Digidestin community and works proactively to keep communication going. Her aim is to be a mature woman. So that is great for Yoli and shows that she has more independence outside of just being a stay-at-home mom while Ken goes off being a private detective with Wormon slash Stingmon. And finally, we've got our boy Cody or Iori, the only member still in high school, 11th grade, with an aim to become an attorney. Iori studies hard to get into law school, still involved with club activities and kendo. He pushes on down what he considers the right path. He's grown taller and is starting to look like an adult. And then he has his armadillomon. This is fantastic. Also, something I really quickly want to note is that all the Digimon are not those weird redesigned tri versions. These are our classic adventure style, and I hope that continues into the animation. I really do. Judging by the character portraits, it looks like it will. So this is huge if you're a Digimon fan. This doesn't necessarily uncanonize Adventure Tri because Tri kind of almost occurs in its own little thing and the Zero Two kids are kind of freed at the end. But what this does do is reincorporate Zero Two properly back into the Digimon Adventure story because that Tri was so bad with that. I lost a lot of faith in Digimon after Digimon Adventure Tri. But I feel like we're entering this golden era now, and Last Evolution Kazuna has given me hope again. The hope that I had in Try, and I really hope it's not squashed this time. So this full embrace of all the adventure kids, showing what their lives have become after another time jump, and leading into this epilogue of Zero Two, whilst also this new threat, this new end, this not even new end, the, the end, of adventure is super exciting to me. We are entering this golden age of Digimon right now. The Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition has come out on a breadth of consoles and PC, which means all new people are discovering Cyber Sleuth and rediscovering Digimon. Next year, we've got Digimon Survive coming out. Right now, we've got an awesome mobile game that's actually pretty fun. The gacha wall's a little bit difficult, but if you want to see me stream it on twitch.tv forward slash Khan underscore EX, plug you can almost daily. And of course, we've got Digimon Last Evolution Kazuna coming out next year. It's great to be a Digimon fan right now. I just hope they can stick the landing because Try was a celebration, but it failed to celebrate properly. And this really looks like it could do the business. But let me know your thoughts. Are you looking forward to Last Evolution Kazuna? Are you not looking forward to it? Is there other things you prefer, like maybe a Tamers movie, seeing as how we didn't get a 15th anniversary Tamers celebration outside of the CD drama? Do you want more representation of Frontier, Cross Wars, Savers, uh, Applemon? Does anyone like Applemon? <laughs> I'm sorry, don't kill me, Applemon fans. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe and all that YouTube silliness, and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.